History is written in ruins, artifacts, and ancient texts. But what if I told you that it's also written in our blood? For centuries, historians have credited the Greeks and Romans as the foundation of European civilization. But there's a forgotten chapter, one hidden in the DNA of millions of people today. A civilization that predated the classical world, one whose warriors struck fear into the heart of empires, whose gold treasures rivaled those of Egypt, and whose influence may have shaped the very roots of European culture. These were the Thracians. You might not have heard much about them, and that's no accident. Despite being one of the most powerful and widespread cultures of the ancient world, the Thracians left almost no written records. They were fierce fighters, expert horsemen, and master metal workers. Yet history remembers them only as scattered tribes lost to time. But recent discoveries in genetics are proving that the Thracians didn't just vanish, they became a part of us. And their DNA is still here, waiting to be decoded. Imagine carrying within you the genetic echoes of a people who fought the armies of Persia, who were feared by Rome, and who may have even inspired Greek mythology. Recent genetic studies have revealed something shocking. Modern populations in Bulgaria, Romania, Greece, and even parts of Turkey still carry a significant amount of Thracian ancestry. These people weren't just an isolated group. They were a genetic bridge between the great civilizations of Europe and Asia. Their bloodline survived wars, conquests, and centuries of cultural change, blending into the populations we see today. But here's the real mystery. How much of their influence still lingers beyond genetics? Could their customs, their legends, even their warrior spirit still shape cultures today? And what if your own DNA holds a piece of their lost story? For centuries, historians have debated the origins of the Thracians. Were they a lost civilization, a collection of scattered tribes, or something much bigger? Now, for the first time, DNA is answering these questions. The Thracians weren't just warriors or nomads. They were a genetic and cultural bridge between some of the most powerful civilizations of the ancient world. And the evidence is hidden in their DNA. Recent studies on ancient Thracian remains have revealed a striking genetic mixture, one that connects them to both the early European farmers who settled the Balkans and the steppe herders who migrated across Eurasia. This means the Thracians weren't an isolated people. They were at the crossroads of history, absorbing and influencing cultures for thousands of years. Their DNA suggests multiple waves of migration, intermixing with Greeks, Persians, Celts, and even early Slavs. One of the most fascinating discoveries is the dominance of the Y-DNA haplogroup EV13 in ancient Thracian males. This genetic marker is still found in high frequencies in modern populations of the Balkans, proving an undeniable link between the Thracians and the people living in the region today. But it doesn't stop there. Mitochondrial DNA studies show that Thracian women carried maternal lineages found throughout Western Eurasia, further confirming their deep ancestral ties to Europe and beyond. This genetic puzzle is reshaping our understanding of who the Thracians really were. They weren't just a forgotten people of the past. They were a foundational part of Europe's genetic history. And if you have Balkan ancestry, there's a chance that their story is part of your own DNA. For decades, history painted the Thracians as little more than fierce warriors and skilled horsemen. But new genetic research tells a different story. One of movement, adaptation, and influence stretching across Europe and beyond. The Thracians weren't just passive inhabitants of the Balkans. They were active participants in some of history's most significant migrations and cultural exchanges. DNA evidence shows that the Thracians carried a blend of genetic lineages from early European farmers and steppe pastoralists, confirming that the Balkans have long been a bridge between East and West. But what's even more fascinating is that the movement wasn't just one way. Thracian genetic markers have been identified in regions as far as Central Europe, the Middle East, and even parts of Central Asia, suggesting that Thracian warriors, traders, and settlers traveled far beyond their homeland. One of the most intriguing findings is the presence of Thracian-associated haplogroups in modern populations outside the Balkans. Studies have identified EV13, a dominant Thracian Y-DNA haplogroup, in regions historically connected to Thracian expansion, including Greece, Italy, and even regions of Anatolia. This suggests that Thracians didn't just influence their immediate neighbors, they played a role in shaping the genetic fabric of multiple civilizations. This new understanding challenges the traditional narrative that the Thracians were merely a peripheral culture, overshadowed by the Greeks and Romans. Instead, they were part of a much larger, dynamic network of migration and exchange. 
Their DNA is proof that history isn't just written in ancient texts. It's embedded in the very people who walk these lands today. For centuries, the Thracians have been shrouded in mystery, often seen through the lens of Greek and Roman accounts that painted them as fierce warriors and nomadic tribes. But what if the real story of the Thracians has been buried beneath layers of history, waiting to be uncovered through modern genetics? Today, DNA analysis is revealing what ancient texts never could, the deep ancestral ties between the Thracians and modern Bulgarians, proving that Thracian blood still runs strong in the region. Genetic studies have shown a striking similarity between Thracian, medieval Bulgarian, and modern Bulgarian DNA. Researchers analyzing ancient Thracian remains discovered that their mitochondrial DNA, the genetic material passed down through the maternal line, contains haplogroups still commonly found in present-day Bulgarians. This connection challenges the outdated notion that the Thracians were completely absorbed or disappeared after Roman conquest. Instead, they remained a foundational part of Bulgaria's ethnic makeup, merging with incoming Slavic and Bulgar groups rather than vanishing entirely. Even more compelling is the Y-DNA evidence from Thracian males, which shows a strong presence of EV13, a haplogroup that continues to be one of the dominant paternal lineages in Bulgaria today. This genetic continuity suggests that many modern Bulgarians descend directly from the Thracians, with their lineage surviving despite centuries of migrations, invasions, and cultural shifts. While Slavic and Bulgar influences certainly shaped the modern Bulgarian identity, the Thracian genetic legacy remains a crucial and often overlooked part of the story. Far from being a forgotten people, the Thracians live on in the DNA of millions. Their genetic imprint challenges historical assumptions and reshapes our understanding of Bulgarian ancestry. The idea that the Thracians were entirely wiped out is no longer valid. Science is proving that their bloodlines never truly disappeared. For centuries, history books have told us that the Thracians, one of the most enigmatic ancient European civilizations, disappeared after the Roman conquest. But DNA is now telling a different story. What if the Thracians never truly vanished, but instead became an unbroken thread in the genetic fabric of modern Europe? Recent genetic research has uncovered a fascinating reality. The Thracians were not an isolated people but a bridge between Eastern and Western Europe. Their DNA contains traces of both early European farmers, EEFs, and Western steppe herders, WSHs, two major groups that shaped the genetic landscape of the continent. This mix suggests that Thracians played a crucial role in connecting the Mediterranean world with Eastern Europe, serving as a biological and cultural link between civilizations. Mitochondrial DNA analysis of ancient Thracian remains reveals a prevalence of haplogroup H, the most common maternal lineage in Europe today. This means that the Thracian genetic legacy didn't just vanish, it was absorbed into the populations that followed, shaping the ancestry of millions. Additionally, spatial principal component analysis, SPCA, studies show that Thracians occupied a genetic position between Southern and Eastern Europeans, reinforcing the idea that they acted as intermediaries in prehistoric migrations. But the most astonishing discovery comes from comparing Thracian DNA with modern populations. Studies indicate that modern Bulgarians, Romanians, and even some northern Greeks carry a significant amount of Thracian ancestry, proving that this ancient civilization left a much deeper imprint on Europe than previously believed. Their genes still flow through the veins of people today, carrying echoes of a culture that once thrived across the Balkans. The Thracians, often overshadowed by their Greek and Roman neighbors, played a crucial role in shaping the genetic and cultural heritage of the Balkans. But how do we know this? The answer lies in the DNA of modern Bulgarians, which reveals a direct connection to their ancient Thracian ancestors. A groundbreaking study comparing ancient Thracian remains with medieval and modern Bulgarian DNA has uncovered a striking continuity. Genetic markers from the Thracians, especially Y-DNA haplogroup EV13, commonly found in ancient Thracian males, are still present in significant numbers among modern Bulgarians. This suggests that rather than being completely assimilated or wiped out, Thracians became a foundational part of the Bulgarian gene pool. Mitochondrial DNA evidence also supports this connection. The maternal lineages of Thracians show similarities to those of medieval Bulgarians, indicating a strong hereditary link between the populations. Unlike historical narratives that depict Thracians as a vanished civilization, Genetic research proves that they survived, intermixing with Slavic and Proto-Bulgarian migrants who later settled in the region. 
One study even found that Bulgarians share more genetic similarities with Thracians than with modern Greeks, despite centuries of Greek cultural influence. This challenges long-held assumptions and highlights the unique genetic identity of the Bulgarian people. Ultimately, Thracian blood did not disappear. It evolved, blending with later populations to form what we recognize today as the Bulgarian people. Their genes live on, providing a fascinating glimpse into the deep-rooted ancestry of Southeast Europe. The Thracians were more than just warriors and raiders. They were a bridge between the East and the West, connecting cultures through centuries of migration, conquest, and trade. Their genetic legacy is a testament to the Balkans' role as a meeting point of civilizations, shaping the region's identity in ways that are still visible today. Recent genetic studies reveal that Thracians were a blend of early European farmers, EEFs, and Western steppe herders, WSHs. This combination means they carried genes from some of Europe's earliest agricultural societies while also inheriting traits from the nomadic, warlike people of the Eurasian steppes. This fusion gave Thracians a unique genetic signature, making them distinct yet connected to various ancient populations across Europe and Asia. Their DNA shows strong links to Neolithic and Bronze Age populations, with clear similarities to both Mediterranean and Eastern European groups. Mitochondrial DNA analysis places them in a central position between Western Europe, the Middle East, and the Eurasian steppes, proving that the Balkans have long been a crossroads of human movement. Interestingly, this genetic heritage aligns with historical records. Thracians interacted with Greeks, Persians, Celts, and Romans, absorbing cultural influences while maintaining their own identity. The same pattern is reflected in their DNA a genetic roadmap of interactions that shaped the Balkans for millennia. Even today, modern Bulgarians carry Thracian genetic markers, proving that this ancient civilization didn't vanish but evolved, merging with later migrations. The Thracian legacy is not just buried in tombs and artifacts. It is alive in the blood of millions. Thracian DNA is not just a relic of the past. It actively shapes the genetic identity of modern populations in the Balkans, particularly Bulgarians. Genetic studies have consistently shown a direct connection between ancient Thracians and present-day Bulgarians, proving that Thracian bloodlines did not disappear but instead merged with later populations through centuries of migrations and cultural shifts. A 2013 genetic study found that modern Bulgarians share significant similarities with both Thracian and medieval Bulgarian DNA, confirming that the Thracians played a key role in shaping the region's genetic makeup. This aligns with historical records describing how Thracian tribes gradually assimilated into the emerging Bulgarian state, contributing to its ethnic foundation. Mitochondrial DNA analysis further supports this link, as Thracian maternal haplogroups are still found in modern Bulgarians, Romanians, and northern Greeks. The dominant Y-DNA haplogroup of ancient Thracians, EV13, is also highly prevalent in Bulgaria today reinforcing the idea of deep ancestral continuity. However, the Thracians were not the only contributors to the Bulgarian gene pool. Slavic migrations in the early medieval period introduced new genetic influences, as did other groups like the Bulgars and Romans. Despite this, genetic data suggests that the Thracian legacy remains a dominant and enduring element of the region's DNA, making them one of the foundational populations of modern Bulgaria. This connection between Thracians and Bulgarians challenges long-standing theories that emphasize Slavic influence as the primary factor in Bulgarian ancestry. Instead, it reveals a far more complex and layered history, one where the ancient Thracians continue to live on in the genetic code of millions today. Thracian DNA has reshaped our understanding of ancient Europe, offering undeniable proof that the region was a genetic crossroads long before recorded history. The Thracians were not an isolated people but a key link between Eastern and Western Eurasian populations, as revealed by modern genetic analysis. Their DNA contains a unique blend of early European farmers and Western steppe herders, proving that Southeast Europe was a major hub of migration and cultural exchange. One of the most fascinating discoveries is the Thracians' genetic connection to both Neolithic agriculturalists and the Indo-European expansions from the Pontic-Caspian steppe. This finding confirms that the Balkans were not just a passageway for ancient migrations but a region where different civilizations merged and evolved. The dominant Y-DNA haplogroup among Thracians, EV13, has roots tracing back to the early Neolithic period and is still widespread in the Balkans today. Meanwhile, 
Mitochondrial DNA evidence shows that Thracian maternal lineages were deeply connected to both Mediterranean and Eastern European populations. These genetic links also shed light on the cultural exchanges between Thracians and their neighboring civilizations, such as the Greeks, Romans, Celts, and Scythians. The high degree of genetic mixing suggests that Thracians were not only fierce warriors but also traders, settlers, and diplomats who played a crucial role in shaping early European societies. Their genetic impact is still visible in modern populations of Bulgaria, Romania, and Greece, proving that their influence never truly disappeared. Thracian DNA serves as a powerful testament to the region's historical significance. It challenges outdated theories that oversimplify European ancestry and instead paints a more intricate picture, one where the Balkans were a melting pot of ancient cultures that shaped the genetic identity of Europe as we know it today.